Hey everybody, I'll do a quick video on how to do the proto putty. Um, this will be my second, actually third or fourth attempt to at doing this video. For some reason, my phone keeps cutting me off in the middle of the of the videos. So hopefully, it holds on this time and uh, keeps going. And one of the first things is to make sure you got gloves on or so. Um, a couple of things to be aware of: you got to use um, type one silicone, so acidic um, based. Uh, silicone. I use the GE brand, it's clear. Um, about eight dollars a tube around here so for a, for a tube of it. Um, it's uh, I don't know if the color really makes a difference. Um, I've stayed clear of the colored ones. Uh, you don't want anything that's mole control or anything like that. It's got to be just a plain silicone uh, clear. But the important thing it has to say number one Type 1 silicone, if it's type 2 or type 3 silicone, I don't know if type 3 exists, but I know type 2 does. Um, you can't use it, it doesn't work. It needs to be the acidic base stuff. I guess I should have peeled the stuff off of it. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to take whatever amount of silicone you need. I'm just going to make a blob here that's about the size of a golf ball. Um, just someplace. And you're going to take a couple of drops of food coloring doesn't take much as two or three drops for that amount or so and you're going to stir that in to get it to change the color now whether it's the food coloring or if it's the cornstarch that sets off the reaction um, it's needed for both so it might be a combination of two so you get it mixed up like that or so then what you're going to do is you're going to take this regular household cornstarch that they use for doing gravy or whatever around the holidays and that type of thing and you're going to take and you're going to add cornstarch to it. It is messy, so and cornstarch has this tendency to go poof and wind up all over the place. Um, and all you're trying to do is get enough of it mixed in to um, be uh, not sticky anymore. So I've used a plate here and use a big bowl. Um, keep your gloves covered. And then when you get scoop like that on it, just go and get some more cornstarch. I keep an extra plate on the side here just to to be able to keep it from sticking and you're basically if you've ever made bread you know what kneading is um, if you don't know what kneading is then um, there's probably some other YouTube videos that'll teach you that um, but basically you're just trying to get it mixed in enough so it's not sticking to your gloves and you want to have a fairly good consistency and you just roll it back into it if you need a little bit more if you add too much cornstarch it just becomes flaky and then you can't get the shape as nicely um, if you don't add enough, um, it just becomes sticky when you're working on things. Like you can put this right on the latex, it's not a problem for that. And basically what you're looking for is something that, that creates, like Play-Doh. It's about the same thing as that. If you stop kneading it, it starts to kick off and harden pretty quick. So you want to keep always moving, don't let it sit, you'll do something else and come back to it because you'll probably find it hardened. I'm just going to use a simple little cup and uh, I'm going to squish this down inside. Oh, I'm starting to stick to my fingers. Let's get some more cornstarch on the surface. Anything on the surface of cornstarch you can clean off after it's all cured. But it doesn't stick to the latex. No special requirements for it. And that's basically the protocol in, uh, in a nutshell. I'll let that sit for 10 or 15 minutes. That takes probably a couple hours to go to a fully hardened. Here's one I did earlier when before the camera it kept cutting me off. So there's the silicone blob or so. It's uh, it's a it's a hard you know almost like a bouncy ball kind of consistency it's so super strong it holds the details i don't know if it's able to show up on the camera um i'll let the rivets from the from the container um i usually switch the gloves midway through just because you get the stuff stuck to the gloves and it it's hard to do anything with that mess i'll show you long term I don't keep the proto putty in my mold, I keep it separate. I don't know if there's any real reason for it. I just don't like the two different materials sitting on it from storage for long periods of time. Um, this is from one of the cat molds that I did. Um, so you can see the uh, in the mold these go together like this and you can see all the different contours and shapes and everything. It just looks like a blob to, to the naked eye or so, but it fits into the into the rubber molds beautifully. Um, one thing to keep in mind whenever you're, if you're using plugs like this, and this is the same with plaster plugs or the silicone plugs, if there is a open space and this is going into that open space, you got to keep in mind that this is going between your latex and between your fiberglass molds. So 
what's keeping it aligned so it's in the right spot. If it's got a shape that it fits into a, a, a cavity or so, then it's easy. But if it's a little bit more of an open with a lot of ridges or something like that that you're trying to fill, then um, what I've done in some of my other molds is I put a bolt into the into the, the proto putty and have that protrude through and drill a hole through the uh, through the mother mold, and then I can actually fasten the the proto putty to the mother mold. And then when I go to take it off, undo that nut on the other side of it, and then the bolt just comes apart with the rest, of it and it's easy to work with. So like I said, I, I label label my uh, my proto putty pieces because they're just simply blobs. Otherwise, to not get them mixed up. And uh, that's it. And these are these were done about a year ago, I guess now. And they're they're hard rubber, like they're they're, they're just as hard as uh, silicone. But if anyone's used like caulking, so you know it takes 24 hours for it to really harden up or so. Whereas this is this hardens up pretty quick. It's already starting to thicken up now, but uh, anyways, I'll show you a, a picture of the of this one here after it comes out with the other one beside it. Anyways, uh, that's it for now.